Hello Virgo, welcome to the Venus Retrograde reading for October to the 1st of November of this current year. Uh huh, uh huh, we're doing something different. Lovely, right? Hope you guys are good with change. No Taurus isn't. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm doing a different reading. If you guys are interested in personal readings, that one almost flipped, I don't know what it was. Um, my email's in the description below. I'll let you know what to do from there on once we get the emails. I usually do your reading and then like I send it to you and then like you can pay me either through my email because it has a thing there I guess or you can go to that link for PayPal but I don't know if the PayPal thing works but who knows because I have no idea right right now I was wondering before you guys I'm pregnant I'm so excited I'm gonna have a little me running around a little Matthew running around so excited Oh god, it isn't twins, because Lord knows it's already, like, small enough in this house. I need to get an actual house-sized house, or a house-sized apartment. We're just a place that has more than, like, two rooms, where the bathroom's the only room that counts. Someday. Who knows? But yeah, let's go into your reading. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be, like, reading almost a two-way, but not exactly. And you guys can let me know how you feel about the reading below, too. Wait, wait. Lord knows I enjoy a Virgo's criticism because my mother is a Virgo and she has plenty. <laughs> I love my mom though. Okay. First card we got for you abundance. Maybe little parties. Look at all those bubbles coming with the cups. We also have temperance or art in this deck and hanging out when you shouldn't be like for more of the martyr complex than anything like you know you should take off but you just aren't whereas this place over here is patience compromising trying to get along on this point up here on this side we have the hermit this is your card Virgo Keeping into yourself and like looking in deep to see what's going on, right? You got the patience for it. But over here, we got the chariot, which could be Cancer's card, right? Kind of, um, what can I say? Um, shit. Um, riding in for victory, riding to get some balance with yourself. Um, possibly got your armor on ready to go. You got a disc in the center, like, check out my new mixtape, yo. You know, on this side, we have a page of Pentacle, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, right? Maybe you're acting out a little bit with what you're trying to offer, but you're still trying to be patient. Maybe you're even trying to be childlike in all of this, trying to be more innocent than what you actually are. Or maybe you're trying to keep yourself a little bit more guarded than normal, too. Like, you have stuff to offer, you're just not offering very much. Because you got your stick there, and it's lowered down, and it's like, you almost look like you're sitting on somebody's eyeball. Or something. Oh, no, 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 that's your cape, or throne, or... I don't know. That's a lot, right? <laughs> are you are you in the air, or like... Like, all the roots are up here. Like, where are you? <laughs> On this side, we have the High Priestess Reverse. Like, some secrets come out of the surface or someone isn't being honest with their feelings. Like, someone's ready to go, but they're not being honest about it. On this side, we have someone waiting to give what they receive what they give. Like, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. The virtue of that. The completion. And on this side, we have a cycle not ending right, or something not being completed, with the world reversed. Down below here, with the patience and the hermit, someone feels like they're stuck. Mentally, verbally, maybe. Maybe they feel like they can't 
communicate how they're feeling and they're trapped in their heads about shit. That's why they're going in the hermit mode. On this side, there's a lack of success here. Something isn't being balanced. There's no equality in the giving and receiving, but someone's trying to be patient to give and receive. It's just not happening. Possibly not in the way you think it should be. On this side, there's someone like being immature and not offering their true emotions and acting like a, 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 a princess of disc, an immature earth sign, if you will. Maybe childish-like and shit. Even though they're trying to be patient, they're, they're acting like this even though this is, isn't how they really feel. I still feel like that's almost like keeping your guard up a little bit too. Like, you know, because she's, like, standing there ready. All this is draped over, and, like, I don't know. She's just watching over things, like, mm, what are you going to do? Am I going to have to beat you with this stick? <laughs> then on this side, with this, these feelings not coming to the surface when it deals with, like, hanging out even though you shouldn't anymore, trying to see if the fruits of your labor work out. And know it's not a success so far. And on this side, we're trying to give and receive with completion. You're trying to maintain control with the Emperor, that fieriness. Possibly in Aries. Or maybe you're not expressing your true feelings towards an Aries, too. Then on this side, with the world reversed, false start, false beginning, something isn't happening. Three cards for each side and then three advice cards. Yes, yes. We got some really bad interference to where like someone does feel stuck in this situation and they can't get out of it. Like it's just in their head and it is is like just static all over, you know. I'm gonna have to eat something soon. The babe hungers. Oh, dear. Then we have... Not really feeling like anyone's on your side and you're kind of upside down in yourself, feeling a little bit dependent in all that situation. Right? If not you, somebody else. You know, general reading, of course. got someone over on this side needing a transformation a change like they need to let something old die and begin something new they want to build on their wealth of sorts get their home in order get something managed once again with the ten of pentacles Oh yeah, that was Death Card, by the way. That could be Scorpio. I forgot to mention that. And someone's a little bit plagued in their mind. Like, they're feeling left out in the cold. Lots of worry with the Five of Pentacles. Now, three advice cards, please. If you wouldn't be, if you would be so kind. There's one. Ah, someone is really restraining themselves, like really holding back on something. Like it's not a bad card, but they're like. She's really pulling back on the reins of that lion thingy, harsh, in order to control it. So it feels like there's nothing to gain in this a little bit. Like, they, like they're like they losing something, maybe their identity, or maybe what helps them feel established, or something close to that.
and ooh, two cards. Someone might be feeling like everything is so futile and just maybe something in the background will come out. Like usually it deals with sneaking and like trying to get away. And I feel like the swords are pointing at it. Like I don't think you're gonna it's gonna like all the thoughts of sneaking away just don't work. And here are all these emotions that are just in these seven of cups, all these options and it's like nah. Like it doesn't it's not healthy. Like the botch. It's like poison, a swamp and like dark souls. Like the first like that game. Well, would that be the first, or would that be the second? Because cause of Demon Souls. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's your reading, Virgo. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.